Hello friends, welcome to Power BI World. In today's video, we will see how we can work with filters into Power BI. So let's get started. So what are filters into Power BI? So filters are nothing but selecting data or managing any reports, visualizations according to our requirements. So that is what filters are into Power BI. Okay, let's see how many types of filters are there into Power BI. So there are three types of filters into Power BI. The first one is your basic filter, which is like a checkbox. The second filter is your advanced filter, which will allow you to create your own formulas or it will allow you to create your own condition to select any of your uh, reports or visualizations. And the third one is your top end filters so which allow us to select the top or bottom performer or top or bottom categories basis on the requirements okay so let's go to the power bi desktop and see how this filter works so i am into power bi desktop and you can see there are three visualizations that are created even the very first one is the sales by year you can see the year by year sales we have profit by subcategory and we have sales by state so state wise sales that has also been given here okay so let's see how a filter works so you can see the filter option here into power bi which will allow us to select the data basis of our requirement okay so let's select any of the visualization let's select the profit by subcategory so if you see there are some filters on this visual which says profit and which says subcategories okay so these are the filters on that particular visuals so let's see the types of filter that we have seen so if i click on any of the drop down if i expand this it will give me an option to select the filter type so as i said there are three types of filter which can be selected from your so you see we have an advanced filtering we have a basic filtering and we have a top end filtering okay so let's see the very first filtering that is your basic filtering if i click on basic filtering okay so as i said it allow us to select the checkbox so it is giving me the name of the subcategories so for which subcategory i want to select from this basic filtering i can select that so let's take an example let me select the accessories and let me select envelope and furnishings as my filter so you see as and when i select the filters the visualizations on this particular uh, visuals gets changed so if i select chairs it will add chairs to that category subcategory and you see now we have selected four subcategories one is your accessories one is your chairs one is your furnishing and the last one is your envelopes okay so this is how you can do a basic filtering basis the filters that you have selected let's go to the advanced filtering option let's select any of the chart and let's select this chart sales by state go to the state option if i select advanced filtering so it's giving me one more option to select it says shows item when the value contains so let's take the item when the value starts with w and as i press w you see the apply filter option is enabled now okay so let me show you one more time if i delete the word w here you see the advanced filter is disabled if I type any of the alphabet here, the advanced filter option will be enabled. Okay. So you can take this word. You can also add any one more. Uh, if you want, you can add one more condition of and or in this particular uh, filter that you want. So as of now, we will just take starts with W and apply the filter. Let's see what happened here. Okay. So if you see you can only see three dots one is your washington 
the other one is Wyoming and the third one which we can see is Wisconsin okay you also have West Virginia so now what we have done is we have just filter out with the word that starts with W okay so this is how an advanced filtering work into Power BI if you want you can also change uh, to any of the fields or any of the value that you requires here okay so you can use this as uh, the item that contains uh, let's say um, any particular state which I would say as Utah and if I apply the filter it will just give me the value for that particular state that I have selected okay so this is how you can work with the advanced filtering into power bi so to cancel this filter what we have to do if you can see this filter which which is like clear filter if I just click on this clear filter all the filters applied to this particular uh, visuals will be deleted okay so this is how you can work with your uh, filters into power bi let's see the top and filter how it works so if I select the top and filter it allowed me to it allows me to select the top and bottom uh, option that you want so let's say let's select the bottom and let's select the bottom five and let's put the profit into the value so who are the bottom five I mean who are giving us the less less profit let's click on apply filter and what will happen it will show you the five states who are contributing less in the profit so what we have done is we have selected bottom five so I see I got Texas I got Illinois I got Pennsylvania Ohio and North Carolina so these are the five states who are giving us the less profit so let's see the top five performer uh, let's see the top five state who are giving us more profit let's click on top and click on apply filter so as I apply filter you see you will get the top five states who are giving us more profit okay so we have California we have Washington we have Wisconsin, we have New York and we have Virginia okay so these are the top five states that are giving us more profit so this is how a filter works into power bi okay so this is how the three types of filter works into power bi okay there are other types of filter as well which works into power bi which we will be covering in our next video so for now that's all from my side hope you like this video please comment below and subscribe to my channel have a great day